Recently, a customer asked if they could trade options from TradingView from signals like price alerts or strategy signals. And the quick answer is yes. We've built Traders Post to automatically map stock tickers and ETFs to their options contracts with the ability to fine tune the contract selection based on option chain settings. My name is Mike, co-founder at Traders Post. And over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how to create manual price alerts that allow us to buy a put or buy a call depending on which direction the market is heading in. As always, Traders Post has three important concepts, webhooks, strategies, and subscriptions. And how you wire those up matters. Webhooks are the way that TradingView can send us signals on how we should execute the orders. We'll make sure we have a webhook set up that supports options. From your dashboard, we're going to head over here to webhooks, and we'll create a new webhook, and we'll give it the name options webhook. Our asset class needs to be options, and we'll allow any ticker. Let's pull square out of here, and we don't need to worry about limitations right now. Now when we save this, what we end up with is this long webhook URL. And we can copy it from this interface and reuse that wherever we like in any alert. We can come back to this page when we're ready to create our alerts. From here, we just need to create a new strategy. We'll create a new strategy that's going to be our long short option strategy because we're going either direction on this one. And we're going to tell it to use the options webhook that we just set up. Since we're going either direction on this trade, we want to make sure that the sides are set to both. We're both bullish and bearish. And the asset class needs to be options. We'll set the option type to both, call or put. We'll trade it in the money with an expiry of one week. And we'll leave the defaults for the strike count and the strikes away. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to put 50% of our paper trading balance into this trade. We can skip through the rest of these settings. And at the end here, we need to make sure that we exit market. Now we need to subscribe our broker to this strategy. That's the last step here. When we create a subscription, we're going to choose which of our brokers we want to connect it to. In my case, I'm going to use the Traders Post Paper Broker account. Now that we've created the strategy, the big thing to remember here is that we actually need to enable it in order to use it. OK, great. Now here's an example of a bullish setup and a bearish example. For the bullish setup, if our price alert is at the top of our linear regression band, which I'll show you in a moment, then we want it to actually buy a call that's close to in the money. In the bearish example, we want the reverse of that. If we end up at the bottom of the linear regression channel, then we're going to want it to actually buy a put and go the other direction. Once we get to trading view, we need to make sure that we're sending over a payload that sends the instructions of what we need to do with our order. And that means that when we use our alert, we want to make sure that we use a webhook as well as the message body, because those two things are what sends the signal to Traders Post. So in my case, I'm going to be using three different payloads here for our manual price alerts. The ability to enter our long call, and on the bearish side, we're going to send it a signal to sell, which is not really going to sell anything, but instead it's going to buy a put because this is a bearish direction. And in either case, when we exit our position, we're just going to send the, the action exit in this payload. So let's see what that actually looks like. If we head over here to the SPY and we set up an alert for the top of our band, when we create the alert for the top of the linear regression band, we're going to say crossing up. Uh, I'm going to set this to 405 for now because I want to be able to drag this down to a location that I want. And this would be the inter bullish side of the trade. We're going to copy the payload for buying a call and paste that here in the message body. The webhook is going to come again from our options webhook page. We'll copy that here and then paste that webhook here. Everything looks correct. We have our webhook URL, we have our payload. Now what I want to do is make sure that if the price heads back up to the top of this linear regression band, I wanted to enter that long call. And on the flip side, if the price dips down below the linear regression band, I want to open a long put. That would be an inter bearish payload. We'll head back here and we'll say if the price dips below 397.50, then we'll want to inter bearish which is really going to buy a put. Now as the price starts to move forward on this trade, if the prices move on either side of this, I'm going to execute an order here. Let's take a look at what that order looks like. So the price actually came down, and if I head into my Traders Post paper account, we can see here that it actually limit bought to open a SPY contract on a 398 put. Now the question is, when am I going to close this contract out? In my case, I think I'd like to watch this linear regression channel and figure out when it starts to cross back up. We've had one indication of that so far, and I'm going to set a price exit again at roughly 393.50. We'll use the same webhook that we had before, but this time when we go back to the documentation for how to exit a bearish trade, we're going to set this payload here. Exit bearish, it has the action exit, which will close my put contract. And we mark it sold to close my SPY contract, and we sold the 21 puts at $9.70 which yielded me a pretty healthy profit on this trade. So that's it. We can actually use Traders Post to automatically connect a stock symbol or ETF symbol over to its options contract. 
We can do this with price alerts. We can do this with strategy alerts or really any type of trend line alert of any kind within TradingView.